if I was ever to create merch, and don't worry, I'm not at that point yet, my first order of business would be to create a t-shirt, maybe even a hat, a mug that says, your AMH is not a fertility test. Your AMH does not dictate your egg quality and your ability to get pregnant. I saw a patient earlier today who was in their late 30s, um, has a low AMH, but still gets periods, um, hasn't really been trying for that long on their own, was told by a fertility specialist that it will be near impossible for her to conceive. Now, this makes no sense because your AMH is a measure of egg quantity, which is only relevant if you're going through the process of stimulating the ovaries to go through an egg retrieval because it can limit the efficiency of that process. It can limit how well you might respond to the stimulation and how many eggs you might get at retrieval. It does not predict the quality of the eggs that you ovulate. And every month or every cycle that you ovulate, you only ovulate one egg. So it's really not a numbers game. There are tons of studies that are well-designed with huge numbers of patients that have proven that AMH not only does it predict your chance of conceiving when you ovulate one egg on your own, but even with IUI cycles. What's worse is that this is a patient who previously froze her eggs. So she froze a good number of eggs in her early 30s, which makes AMH even less relevant. Can we please, 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 as a field, stop telling women that they're going to have infertility or it's going to be impossible for them to get pregnant on the basis of their ovarian reserve? Thank you.